Hello everyone, the Dragon V1029 here, and today, and today we as you may know, that the new update for Farlight 84 has, is gonna be tomorrow, so I'm gonna be doing a reaction video on, on, on the Hero Spotlight of Ember, on how, on how to play him properly, so, uh, this is, this is just, this is some sort of reaction video, because because I I know I already seen the this trail before, but I like to watch it over and over again. So let's so let's get to see what we got here. Raised in a noble family, an idealistic extremist, and an obsessive compulsive perfectionist, he's driven by a near mad fervor for scientific research. His ambition is not for the progress of humanity, but to prove his insane brilliance. Meet Ember. Not just an elegant gentleman, but a mad scientist who is on the brink of ethical boundaries. His tactical skill, Smoke Bomb, can blind a small area of vision, serving as a distraction and aiding teammates. Upon reaching level 5, the smoke becomes toxic due to unconventional experiments. With his passive skill, he can easily manipulate vision to his advantage, blinding enemies while retaining his own sight. His passive skill, Eye of Truth, allows him to clearly see the enemies in smoke bombs. This allows him to shoot enemies through the smoke. He can deploy the skill between himself and the enemies, a defensive tactic that discourages enemies from approaching further. Or he can throw the bomb right into their face, causing blindness and damage. In some scenarios, he can even drop it right under himself to confuse a sniper and buying himself time to deal with this long-range threat. But having a short-range vision control is insufficient. Ember's ultimate, Vision Erosion, blocks the vision within a large area of effect by emitting a shadowy fog. Within this fog, enemies, including the turrets, lose sight of the environment. But Ember and his squad can see within the radius. With a double advantage, Ember can box the enemies in, stripping them of any chance to escape or find cover. The smoke shrouds your eyes. As a defensive move, this could also give Ember's team a safe spot to patch up or recharge their shields. Remember, Ember's ultimate doesn't last forever and can be messed up by enemies or your own team's attacks, so you have to move fast. Ember may not like the idea of having colleagues, being a lone wolf scientist that he is, but his allies have learned to adapt around his style. Captain, for example, plays along very well. His Aqua Blast can deal significant damage up close and it's a great combo okay, with Ember's okay, skills. Okay. And in fact, his allies can leverage vision erosion from afar with some scanning and scouting. For example, right, Young that's can actually scout pretty cool. the so enemy's now I know which allies to use now. and hunt them down like prey. If there are no scouts in the squad, someone like MKR could also pull it off with the wide area attack. Yo! Ember is a real elegant brainiac, a genius, and a mad scientist. His research is saving him from the brink of death, but maybe, maybe, it was the research that pushed him to the boundary of life in the first place. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so we... So apparently the new look is gonna be something like um, apparently that new look uh, like okay hang on let me get back to it, that that new look, th this kind of new look it's giving me like a day, daylight or something it it's from another mobile game called daylight or something because because it, it's get because the mask is giving me rare rare vibes though because um because and also Amber's voice voice had changed and we also got. New skin for the for AK seventy seven and and I and I didn't know that embers that embers like um uh, allies were uh, Captain Young and MKR. So now I know which characters to use. We can we could possibly do better. So I'll keep a note of that. I'll literally keep a note of that. But I want to see how how we can. Definitely do that again, though. Hang on, if I could find it. All right. I've learned to adapt around his style. Captain, okay. for example, plays so Captain, very well. 
His Aqua Blast so, can deal so Captain Key uses Aqua Blast that does big severe damage. Skills. And in fact, and Young can scan through the purple dome the thing. With some scanning and scouting. For example, Young can scout the. Yes, yes. So Captain King uses Blast to take out the enemies from the smoke uh, grenade, and Young can use his ultimate while scanning the areas from that purple dome thing. Me, but but MKR though. Enemies location within the fog and hunt them down but, um, like prey. If there are no scouts in the squad, someone like MKR could also pull it off with the wide. Now that's good. Now. Now I know we can use the gas grenade while MKR fires his missiles. So that's going to be challenging though. That's going to be challenging. But all I know is that, that this season is going to be pretty cool. Because once, once I have enough diamonds and then I'll buy the premium battle pass. Then I'll keep recording more videos of me playing Farlight 84 and keep on streaming. Because there's also... A New Year's stream coming up, so stay tuned for my New Year's live stream on YouTube. And who knows, maybe it could be on Farley 84 this time instead of Blood Strike, instead of a Blood Strike. So um, so I just want to say thank you all for so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like and make sure you subscribe to my channel, The Dragon D1029, and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on all of my. So you won't miss out on any of my videos. And comment down below what was your favorite part about Ember. Are you excited for his new look? Or do you think the old version is better? Do you think the old version is better? So write down in the comments. Do you like the new Ember or the old Ember? Just let me know, okay? As always, I will see you in the next video. And peace out.